Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back with another AEW Unrivaled review. Today I'll be looking at Series 6, Jake Hager. On the side of the box you see an image of Hager, then on the back you see another image of Hager, the event, date, and place in which this image was taken, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, now that we have looked at the box, let's go ahead and open this figure up and take a closer look at Jake Hager. Alright, and here is Inner Circle member Jake Hager out of the packaging, but before we take a look at the figure, Let's go ahead and look at the accessories that he comes with. So he comes with a pair of interchangeable fisted hands. Then he also comes with this soft goods hoodie. This feels pretty nice. There's some gold lines around the bottom here and on the shoulders on both sides here. So the printing on this gold part here looks good. The hoodie does cover the top of the head and you can pull it back. Although it is tight here and there's a little bit of plastic, you can remove that. So the fabric is nice, it looks pretty good. There is a Velcro on the back. So it is easy to take off. But before I go ahead and remove this, I did want to note that I've seen some online reports of this fabric here staining the plastic on the Jake Hager figure, mostly on the upper body and the shoulders here. So let's go ahead and see if that happened with mine. So we're going to move that. Should be easy to take off. Just pull this over the head. And yeah, you can definitely see that there is some staining here on the right shoulder. So that is very unfortunate. Now this is the kind of stuff that is not easily removable. So I'm not sure if this can be washed off. I don't think so. And I know acetone really won't work on this. Usually that is pretty good with removing paint. However, I've had this happen to me with another figure before. I used acetone and it really didn't do much. So pretty much whenever you see that stain, it usually seeps through into the plastic. So that pretty much ruins the figure. And I do see a little bit more here on the left shoulder back here. So that is very frustrating. So I'm only seeing it here on the shoulders, not really on the upper body. It's not as noticeable. But moving on, let's go ahead and look at the head sculpt. I honestly, I don't think this really has that great of a likeness to Jake Hager. I think maybe at different angles, it does kind of look like him. The likeness is really kind of weak for me with this figure. Maybe if it had a better paint job, it would look a little closer to Jake. And speaking of paint job, for whatever reason, he has this reddish brown hair. So he's, they made him pretty much a ginger. So I've seen a lot of people show off their Jake Hager heads and they pretty much all have this look. So that is very frustrating. I don't know why Jazzwares did that. He's not supposed to look like that. He's supposed to have blonde hair and a blonde beard. So that is very unfortunate. I mean, aside from the issues with not really looking like Jake Hager, the paint is good on the beard, the eyes, the eyebrows, and the hair. But yeah, I don't really think this has that great of a likeness to him. It's not the worst, but it's certainly not as good as Jazzwares is able to do. Alright then, looking at the rest of the body, so I'm not sure if this is a brand new body. I have reviewed pretty much every single AEW figure, so I think I want to say this is new, but it could be wrong. It probably does share the same torso as another figure, but it is good for Jake Hager. I think it looks good. He's got his tattoo on the back of the shoulders, which looks pretty good. Paint looks good on that. The arms look pretty decent. This one is a bit warped here on the right elbow, so that can be easily fixed. And again, the horrible stains on the shoulders, so that's annoying. Then look at the lower body. So looking at his shorts, I think the paint looks pretty good. I don't see any major mispaint or sloppiness. Line work looks pretty clean for the most part. The paint around the waist looks really good as well. So overall, it looks really good. I like the paint work on the shorts. Then looking down at the boots, painted pretty well. Don't see any major sloppiness or mispaint. Good scope work. All right, and going over the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint and a hinge, so it does look pretty high up. He can look that far down, can turn his head side to side and tilt slightly. Shoulders have a hinge to allow to go that high up. He can rotate all the way around. There is a bicep swivel. His double jointed elbows which have a good range of motion. There's a swivel and hinge at the wrist. He has ball joints at the upper diaphragm here so he can't crunch that far forward, go that far back, turn side to side and pivot and tilt. Then there's another ball joint at the waist which allows him to twist a little bit, crunch even further forward, and go that far back. He has ball joints at the hips which allow the legs to go that far out. They can not go very high at all, so that is disappointing. Reminds me of the Luchasaurus figure, it had that same issue. There's a thigh cut, double jointed knees. He has a cut at the top of his boot. Ankle has a hinge which allows it to go that high up. 
that far down. And he has some decent ankle pivot. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a WWE Jack Swagger figure to compare him with, but here are the rest of the Inner Circle members. Ortiz, Santana, Sammy Guevara, and Chris Jericho next to Jake Hager. Here he is next to Series 2 MJF. Here he is next to Orange Cassidy, Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega, John Moxley, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on Series 6 Jake Hager? Well, for starters, I forgot to mention his tattoo on his forearm right here, so I completely missed that. So that is painted really well. Looks good. Paintwork looks nice. So no sloppiness there. But aside from that, I have some mixed feelings about this figure. I'm really glad that we have it, because now we have a complete inner circle faction. I initially said that I really didn't like the head sculpt, or that I didn't think it had the best likeness to Jake Hager. But looking at it from a little bit of a distance, like how I have him now at this angle, I do think it looks a little bit better than what I initially thought. Still don't think it has the best likeness. Jazzwares has done better jobs with other head sculpts. Honestly, really, I think it's just the hair color. It's throwing off the whole head sculpt. If it had the correct blonde hair and beard, I think it would look much closer to Jake Hager. So that's frustrating. And the most frustrating thing about this figure are the stains on the shoulders. Again, as I mentioned, I've seen many, many reports of this happening to pretty much almost all the Jake Hagers that I've seen people posting their photos, so be aware that that most likely will be the case with your Jake Hager figure if you ordered one. So I'm actually going to contact Jazzwares, see what they can do. Hopefully, maybe they can send me a replacement part or a replacement Jake Hager figure because that's something that I don't know if I can actually take off the shoulders. Those stains look like they're kind of stuck there. So do I think this is worth picking up? I say yes because... Overall, it's a decent figure, and plus you get to complete your inner circle faction. For that reason alone, I do think it's worth picking up, but again, just be aware that there are issues with this figure. So if you haven't done so already, like this video and subscribe. If you want to have a chance to get shouted out in the next video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I like all these fine people that left comments on the last video complimenting my new intro. I did debut a new intro in the last video, so hopefully you guys liked it. So shout out to East Coast Figs, Robert Chavez, Mohamed Sandikia, hopefully I said that right, and Bane. Don't forget to follow me on social media so you can keep up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time.